are you a homeowner or a renter? Or homeowner. You're a homeowner, okay. And what type of home do you live in? A single residence. Single, standalone, mm -hmm. single family home. Okay, and how long have you moved, or how long have you lived there? In that residence, I've lived 20 years. 20 years, okay. So, okay, you've been there a while. Are you from McIntosh County? Uh, born and raised? Not or? born. Technically, we moved here when I was five. Okay. Five so or your six. Parents my parents. Here when you mm -hmm. were five or six. Mm -hmm. and, um, what brought them to McIntosh? Uh, my father wanted to own a farm, <laughs> okay. so he bought property here. Yeah, nice. Where did y'all come? Where did they come from? Glen, Glen County. Oh, okay. So they were Brunswick. Okay. So you just moved to a more open mm -hmm. space area. Okay. And you said you mentioned um, earlier that that you live on a farm currently. Mm -hmm. So is that still the, the family farm? Um, that your yeah. Bought? My parents bought that property in like 1981. I was raised there. I moved away mm -hmm. um, and then got married and moved back. He gave me a parcel, a little okay. piece of property from his farm, and uh, we built a house on it. So mm -hmm. I've kind of yeah. just come back. Yeah. And that was that's house. I've lived there 20 years. I've lived on that property for, you know, about right. 40. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And do you all actively farm? He does. Yes, my father does. Your dad does. Mm -hmm. Nice. What does he? Um, uh, he raises cattle, and um, he does like he grows his own food and nice. stuff like that. He has a garden and everything, but mostly cattle. Okay, sorry, that was kind of an aside. Just my curiosity. Yeah. <laughs> Not really part of the interview. Yeah. Um, okay, so back on track with that. So uh, as far as solar energy, do do you have solar energy on no. your property? No. Okay. And um, do you um, would you do you have any interest in having solar on your property? My husband does, but okay. I don't because of the money. And the cost of it right now, I believe it's a little too expensive at this point in time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. They're too expensive to, like, that install initial investment mm -hmm. to install it. Okay. Yeah. And um, why, what is your husband's, re like, reasoning for wanting it? Because he thinks it's cost efficient. Um, I don't, and, and I understand what he's saying. After you get past that initial cost, you, you can make up for it. Right, kind of upfront cost mm -hmm. versus long-term cost. Right. Kind of the same argument with mm -hmm. like buying a, a hybrid car. Yeah. They're more expensive up front, but you save money in the long exactly. run. That exactly. Kind of thing. Okay. Um, have you, either you or your husband, actually like um, done any research into what's available locally? For he has. Things? I haven't. Yeah. Okay. I, I have no interest in looking at it because he knows that I'm... <laughs> I'm the kind of person, like, I, I don't care if it's going to say, you know, because you literally have to have the money up front yeah. to be able to do that, and we don't. Okay. Okay. So you just don't even want it. <laughs> don't want to put it on the table right. at the moment. Okay. Um, so besides that upfront cost, do you, are there any other, like, hurdles or reasons no. to not to do mm -mm. solo? No. Pretty much because, I mean, that. he's talked about it. I've heard... Mm -hmm. You know, his reasoning behind it as far as, um, it, number one, it's clean. And then it's, like I said, cost efficient once you get past that first mm -hmm. hurdle. And then, um, you know, he's, if the power goes out <laughs> all around you, you still have power because it stores it. Um, you know, just, you know, a few things he it makes a little bit of sense, but once again, <laughs> it just comes down to that upfront cost yeah. for you. Okay. All right. Do you know of anyone in the county that has home solar? No. Do you know of any other um, opportunities to like invest in solar in the county or in the state? Like, so you don't have it on your at your home. I do know you can do solar farms. I do know there are you know that option where you can put the solar panels out. Mm -hmm. I've seen them in Glen, um, mm -hmm. and I think there's one here in Macintosh that's fixing to go in. Um, other than that, I don't know okay. anything besides that. Okay. I don't know how that works. I just know that they put panels <laughs> in a big field. <laughs> right, yeah, but you don't know yeah. about how, like, an how individual it, could, like, support that, that happening. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I don't either. 
<laughs> um, so, so now we're just going to talk about, in general, your kind of opinion, perspectives, or firsthand knowledge of our, there's, like, again, there are no right or wrong answers, mm-hmm. but just based on what you think about um, solar and solar adoption across the country, mark on the map, you know, as many different places as you want. You can shade in, you can circle, you can star, you can write notes. Mm-hmm. Um, where do you think solar um, does get adopted in the U.S.? And that could be, like, type based on types of people that live there or the conditions being right for it. I, or economic I don't anything. see any place where it wouldn't be because, I mean, ultimately it's just where you can get access mm-hmm. and land or mm-hmm. your house or, I mean, I think any place could technically mm-hmm. Sure. So, I mean, I don't see, but, okay. and, I mean, if you mean as far as, like, people who are more open to having it, is that what they mean, or, or do they mean... I, you know, any, like, what, it could be people that are more open to it, like, so you're saying it's possible to do it anywhere, um, where do you think there is, like, a concentration of it actually <laughs> existing, like, where is solar um, actually on houses in the U.S.? Honestly, I don't know. I would say more towards the West Coast. I would say more. You want me to just mark the region? Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to say more in this region. Okay. <laughs> and why is that? Um, attitude towards solar energy, maybe. Okay, like more open. To They're it. more open to it. Uh, it's more... Um, I would say this area in particular, in the desert regions. Maybe the southwest, so Arizona. And yeah, Arizona and even there. even areas like where there's not a concentration of people, um, like maybe up here in the this yeah. area, because the yeah, it's harder Montana. to get electrical lines to people, oh, electricity yeah, right. that way. So it's it makes more sense to have a source of power where they're not having to rely on a grid. Sure. So, and you a know, lot of wide open space mm-hmm. there too. yeah, so even up in this area here <laughs> where there's not as many people and it's sparser, like mm-hmm. your, your residences are further out, yeah, yeah. farm areas. Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, I, I actually think it's anywhere, but right. it could be anywhere. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's okay. it. So then, same question for Georgia. Oh, okay. Where do you think in our state um, solar, um, rooftop solar is? Well, that's the, kind of the same thing. I mean, it just depends on, like, like up in the mountains, people would probably be able to use it more because it's harder to get electrical lines to them, whereas down here in this area, this is the farming community areas, mm-hmm. they would, they're would they further spaced out, makes more sense to have a power source that way. Um, I honestly don't think people on the coast do it as much, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Well, why do you think that is? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know, but I just have, I know I'm from here and I don't see don't it here. See it. Yeah. yeah. So where is, you know, if it's, it's up in this area, you know, maybe, I don't know. And I wouldn't see it as much in it. I think maybe Metro Atlanta probably doesn't do as much um, because it's, they, they have ready access to, to the grid, to the grid and yeah. they don't have to. So okay. I don't know, <laughs> but, um, Okay. So I don't know. Okay. Okay. No, like I said, no right or wrong. Um, I actually wouldn't know what I was looking for if I saw it on a home, to tell you the truth. So I can't say uh, that I've ever seen it. Yeah. But. Yeah. They, um, I don't know that I would know with the more, um, They've changed a mm-hmm. lot, so it used to be like a, a very apparent kind of black mm-hmm. panel, right? Um, but now um, I've heard that they are actually making roofs that are the like the solar panel oh, wow. is the roof. Oh wow! And so you can't tell. 
it's there's it's I mean I don't I haven't seen it so I don't know if it it basically still looks like you know that shiny black. right um do you all uh, at your does your dad um or y'all do you have the little solar panels for your electric fence if you have electric fence no or something I don't like think that. he does well it's just you know it's like yeah I know it a looks like black a black screen mm -hmm. basically mm -hmm. um but, um, I've seen the one in Glen, the ones in Glen County. Yeah, yeah. So that that the surface would kind of look mm -hmm. the same, but it would just be um, like if it's actually rooftop, it's just sitting on your roof. These big panels that sit on your roof, mm -hmm. or people can have them on a stand like the solar farms in the fields do, like next to their house mm -hmm. or something. But I haven't seen this. It's like a film that's actually. <laughs> the roof itself wow. so I don't know that might not be as noticeable as the panels right um like I said I haven't seen it yet so and I think you know a lot of times people probably try to put them on the less visible side of their right house and, you, can't you know see it so, as much, that's so it doesn't what, detract yeah yeah um so you might not see it very readily right um all right so um and I asked you already if you know of anybody in the county who has it, and you said no. Anyone in the state that you know of? Any On their house, no. That mm -hmm. have it at their home, yeah. Okay. All right, well, then we'll shift gears into the food questions. Okay. I know you put it on here, but tell me, um, how many people um, live in your household? Four. You have four, okay. And are you the primary food um, shopper and food yes. preparer, or is that Shopper, else? my husband tends to be the one that cooks. Okay, so you do the shopping, he does the cooking, and you're feeding two kids. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so about, um, uh, tell me what your, like, daily food routine is. Like, how many meals typically, what type of meals, snacks? Um, it just varies on the day. And what we're doing, we're, we're not the kind of people that plan meals. We kind of just kind of what's available we grab yeah. and um, same thing with dinner what's there we'll fix <laughs> exactly. I mean we don't it's not real set routine yeah no life. You're mm -mm. Just like nope we kind of take it fly. as it goes like for you um, individually how often are you like sitting down and eating with other people what's it very rarely. <laughs> yeah okay. yeah. So again, yeah, yeah I mean we just so got a lot like going on dinner at seven sit down mm -hmm. with my family no we did that yeah better. no um, and about how, um, often are you all cooking meals at home versus getting prepared food? Most of the time we cook at home. We don't usually eat out. It's more expensive. Yeah. And how often, um, are you having to go food shopping? Once a week. Once a week. Okay. And where are you typically doing that? Uh, usually Walmart. So going down to... Uh, Brunswick. Brunswick to go to the mm -hmm. Walmart. Okay, is that for um, better selection? Or cheaper. Cheaper, yeah, better prices. Okay. okay. Um, and when you go to the grocery store, especially with Walmart, to me, I'm just like, oh, it's so like, overwhelming and I can't ever I remember shop online. super online. <laughs> oh, yeah, do you do I the do the online. Out ahead of time, yeah. I don't like going in Walmart. In super Walmarts. It's like, I feel like I go back and forth mm -hmm. all the way across the store because things that I think should be on the grocery side are on the other side mm -hmm. and vice versa. I just and don't like being in the big sense. store with so many people and it's just okay. it's fast and easy. You pick it up, you go home. <laughs> okay. So the, one of the questions is like, what's your approach when you go in the, in yeah, the grocery I hate store? Shopping. Like, do you go like up and down the aisles or do you just hit the stuff on your list? If I go in, that's what I do. Yeah. And that's kind of irritating to me because I tend to pick out more than what I'm supposed to. Uh, if I have that so in front of me. you typically do is go up and down I'll impulse. Yeah. yeah. And I will impulse shop. Right. So I tend to try to stay out of Walmart yeah. and out so of the crowd and, and the online shopping pick it and out. You just Stay on a budget that way. Drive up and they bring it out to you, that thing? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. And do you have any challenges or hurdles with getting the foods you need for your family? Mm, you mean like as far as money it or? It could be financial challenges. It yeah, I mean, like sometimes. Me, I have like food sens uh, sensitivity. Yeah. So like trying to find well, products here yeah. that I can eat is challenging. Mm -hmm. I'm used to like better selection in other mm -hmm. places. 
I have, I'm diabetic. My husband's diabetic, so I mean, we kind of do have to be careful with what we buy. But then, and then I have a child with autism that we have to be careful with red dyes for him. And then um, also, as far as financial, you know, um, I work for the county, so I don't <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> make a yeah. whole lot of money. Yeah. And um, yeah, we kind of. So you got to make choices based yeah. on expenses. Right. And then you have some of those kind of dietary mm-hmm. considerations mm-hmm. for getting foods that are going to be healthy and. Right. And right for you. And so, um, so it sounds like there's a challenge in that McIntosh County itself doesn't have a lot of availability of what you need. So you're exactly. going to exactly. the county yeah. next door that has um, mm-hmm. cheaper selection and more variety. And that's, that's with almost everything in yeah. McIntosh. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately. It's, it's it's a small place. <laughs> it's beautiful, but it's small. We don't have a lot of options here. So thankfully, Brunswick isn't very far away. Yes. At least if you're on this end of the county. 